chat. We've made it out of the hellscape that was Jack 2. And now we go to what looks like an even grittier hellscape that is Jack 3. Will they make the game better? Will they have a better plot? Will they make Miles suffer more? We're going to find out right now. Oh, God. More vehicular combat. This does not bode well. of the Grand Council of Haven City for heinous acts and crimes against the people. You are hereby banished to the wasteland for life. This is a death sentence, Vigor. There must be another way. Your protest was overruled. This dark eco freak is dangerous. Now drop the cargo. This is an outrage. I am outraged beyond words. Although I do have something to say. Not everyone agrees with this ridiculous decree. Yeah. We want a recount! Oh, I see you wish to join him. Actually, we are not that outraged. Farewell, Jack! Stay out of the sun! Drink lots of water, if you can find it. Jack? Go back to the city, Dax. I'm sorry. The council is too powerful. There was nothing I... I know. You just stay alive, you hear me? That's an order. Someone will find you. I promise. May the precursors have mercy on you. Dexter! Don't thank me. I'm only here because you wouldn't last a second without me. Okay, tough guy. You got us into this mess. Now you gotta get us out. Ah, Shit. What a team we'll make. Let's just get moving. <laughs> they thought that Daxter wasn't enough of a, like, side character, comic relief protagonist, that they had to add the fucking squawking bird monkey, too. But which way? That way! That way! Oh, and I suppose you know where you're going, huh? Better than you do, Bent Beak. Uh, let's just move. This was all your stupid idea. No, it was yours. Only a bird brain could have thought this one up. Let's go with him. We'll help together. You mean we'll die together? I can't believe the city hates us. We saved those lowlifes. Jack, the city's divided. Reports say new crimson death bots are holding the vital section of the industrial area. My men are getting their asses kicked. The KG have a new leader. We're trying to find out who it is. I'm afraid I've got more bad news. A large group of surviving metalheads have concentrated in another section of the city. But we destroyed Core. It appears the strongest metalheads have survived. The battle for the city has just begun. The people are blaming you, Jack. in the past is done. Right now, metalheads are assaulting the palace. They're looking for something, and I have no idea. the 
this. Dark Eco Vault. Looks like we found some live ones. <laughs> Barely. Here's the beacon we were picking up. Who gave you this? We'll take them with us. Let's move. I smell a storm coming. Oh, hide them. Get the death still. Jack three, here we go. Time to kill the council? Man, I hope that's not where they're going with it. Sounds like we got a council them right here, man. If they just invented the con the console so they could have a plot for this game and then you have to go and kill the console, that's gonna be really weird. Does Pecker even have a beak? I don't think he does. Amanda, we're back. Yes. Yes, we are, Grubin. <laughs> He's a Munkaw, a monkey plus a Munkaw. That's weird. When they come crawling back, begging for you to save them, shoot the messenger and send him back in a bucket? That's crazy. That's gonna be some civilian casualties. Yeah, that, that, that tower falling definitely killed a lot of people. 200 percent Game. Saving to the memory card. Holy shit, I just realized all the fucking leaves have fallen off of like 90% of the trees in the... Back behind my apartment, which is fucking crazy, dude. And notice them falling. But like, yeah, literally all the fucking leaves are gone. It's winter, I? No, I want it to fucking be fall. I only had a month of fall, Mr. J. I only had a fucking month. I need more than a month of fall. I need more. It's not okay. I love water. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Desert dead. Well, well, he's, he's drinking the water from the same water that, that like Jack's feet are in. Come back from the dead, have you? And my monks were ready to pray for you. I am Damus, king of Spargus. Spargus? Wait, nobody lives outside Haven's walls. Not a whole city. Ah, yes. We are the Forgotten Ones. Haven City's refuse thrown out and left to die. Just as you were. But now that you have been saved, your life belongs to the people of Spargus, and we will use it well, if it's actually worth anything. Hey, that sounds like a bad deal. You are in no position to deal. Out here, everything is either useful or dead weight. Prove yourselves worthy, or the desert will be your grave. You need to work on making a better first impression. <laughs> in the unforgiving wasteland, we value strength and survival above all. We will see where you stand soon enough. Complete your training. And Jack finally got a haircut. He didn't just get a haircut. They like rounded out his face a little bit. He looks like way more attractive than he did in the last game. Because if you change the map, people complain like Spider-Man is still in New York. Why are you expecting a new map? Well, you can have a map like New York and still have like a really good game. Um based on the mechanics that are used to interact with that area, like take Spider-Man 2 for the PS2, for example. I'm expecting this winter to last over here at least a solid six months. Already one month down, five to go. That's crazy. And the voice acting direction for Jack 2 and Jack 3 were just, we need Edge, so talk more gravelly. So, yeah, that's so true. Like, um, that, that, that's all we need. Come to Texas, where it's all summer, all four seasons. Fuck that, no thanks. Then enter the arena. Just the bravest crawl out and are allowed to, to stay, stay in Spagus. It's quite simple, really. Um, what Oh my gosh. Ma to Ma Ma Malark. Malark. It's, uh, it's, um... That's, uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. T 22 years, and that's, a, that's still a charged joke. The ones that don't crawl out. Then it will be as if we never found you. No, no, it was funny. I was afraid of that. <laughs> I just don't want to read it. Citizens of Spartans, welcome to the arena of death, where we get to watch other people wet themselves in pee. These halls will once again test two newcomers, each fighting to prove their worth to stay among, among us. us. Let's hear it for Jack and his obnoxious talking animal. Pecker. There you are. Where were you? Demos says I am to be his new counselor. He says my wisdom will serve him well. Oh yeah, and uh, Demos also says that uh, you two are likely to die in the arena today. And he hopes your death is very... Uh... Will you stop that? Demos can talk for himself. He's right. 
you will most likely die. And yes, Pecker is my new advisor. Unlike you, some people appreciate my talents. Oh. It beats working for a living. I saw a few of the fights earlier. Ooh, not a pretty sight. Why, you little... Let the games begin! Spider-Man for the PS2 was a masterpiece. The swinging wouldn't be matched for over a decade. I would argue that its swing mechanics still have not been matched in the modern games. Should have mentioned earlier, punching is quick for great changes in direction before rolling. That's a good point. Oh, the, the, the fucking... The, why do they have to reverse the goddamn things again? Oh, you vase, I mean, the... Uh... I like this. Oh, plus that uppercut. Okay. Oh man, this menu screen is awful. Where is it? Where's my option that I need? Camera options. Flipped. Flip so that it's fucking normal. There we go. Okay, that feels a little better. Oh yeah, he's a little bit more lanky in this game. He, he kind of looks hot. Jack, Jack, oh, never mind. That's a... Uh... Man, cutscene Jack. Cutscene Jack looks a lot better than uh, in-game Jack. I'll say that much. They did a good job with, like, the lower part of this model, but oh my god. I did, Groovin, I did say that. I mean, <laughs> you know this game is a pain when it brings out the Yiddish, it's so true. I'm not even Jewish. the Ratchet Clank versus Jack and Dexter death battle where Booster kept referring to Damas as dumbass as he should oh well as much as I'd like to stay and party with y'all I better head off to bed for the hour goes late see you Mr. J we'll be back with this next week is that supposed to be lava down there because it kind of looks like sand I think it is sand have won the challenge. That's right. We bad. You haven't forgotten what I taught you, Jack. Anyone can make a few measly jumps. Now let's see how you rate against the living. We adjust the matter forms. Prepare the arena for full combat. Prepare the arena for full combat. I just said that. I know. I was just adding. You know how you do the thing with the... Anyway, prepare the warriors. You mean we, we have to fight against actual people with actual weapons? Who actually want to hurt us? Fine, bring him on. All right, that's it. I want to be on his shoulder. He did that in the second game. Why is why is uh, Daxter so crazy about it? Oh, interesting. The shotgun actually does more damage now. It's cool. Oh yeah, this is definitely lava. And the rubber in our souls are gonna get fucked up. Yeah, that feels better. Oh, 
Oh, it just automatically does my uh, dark jack mode now. I was kind of hoping we have to deal with that mechanic anymore. an austerity society where everybody has to contribute right for sure yeah the thing is in gameplay of all three games jack uses the same rig and hitbox that's why his end game model looks funny and is shorter than the other npcs it's literally built over his jack one model that's hilarious where are they having death arena battles this doesn't seem like the best way to contribute i agree it's auto on some bits oh i see Ooh, the lava's hotter than a flame royal lava and my shoes are melted to the fabric last floor so true guy brush throughput this time there's more eco stuff? All right, I'm looking forward to that. Oh uh, yeah, what was I doing now? Uh, we're going back up. Stop fucking auto sending me into that stupid ass mode. It keeps doing it, why? Seriously, what the fuck, game? Is, is, is something glitched? Low HP, is that what does it? It's it's for story stuff? It's just auto for this section? Okay. Something you're not telling us, animal man? He has been touched with dark eco, my leash. Our boy here gets all mean and nasty when you piss him off. So don't piss him off. Word to the wise. Ah, then he is dangerous, and that could be useful. Your bravery has earned you your first battle amulet. If you are victorious in two more arena fights, you will earn your citizenship to Spargus. Here is a gate pass to allow free passage in and out of the city. But beware, there is no true refuge outside our walls. The desert is less kind than I. And for your victory, a gun mod is your prize. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Hey, what do I get? Nothing, as usual. He feels sick, so he goes sicko. Guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, that should be happening. What are you talking about? What should be happening? Free real estate in this game you use dark jack more often as you don't need to fill up the whole meter transform you just need to have some dark ego how full it is determines how much of the time you have to transform most of the meter doesn't dream of the dark one is an activated little zero that was with some sweet moves in the arena boy but a little more choke oh and look it's crew pop day you talking to me yeah you talking to him no i'm conversing with me sweet departed mom of course you you boarhead you two are from the big smoke guy eh? who's asking the guy who runs this place that's who Cleave is the name. You blokes stick with me, and I'll take care of you. In fact, I've got a job for you right now. Ride me leaper lizard here and catch a few of those little buggers that have been raiding me storerooms. Snag me six of them puppies, and I'll let you drive one of me racing vehicles. That is, if Tamus ever lets you leave the city. I think we can handle that. No! I hate riding animals! They make me chafe. We have to find those kangarats. Oh There's no. Get it, Jack. Oh lordy. Get him, get him. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. You got it. Ooh, nasty. Now the people have guns? Oh great, so if I run into fucking anybody, it, it... I'll get shot at. I love it. Good shit. One more! Bon appetit! FYI, Labor Lizards control the same as Flood Flood from Jack 1. Good, I like that. It was good. Also, this feels more responsive than Flood Flood, which I like. I see another one! Gimme! Did someone miss their breakfast? I feel like you don't need to comment on every single little thingy that you eat, you know? 
Grand Theft Blizzard? So true. Oh, literally every citizen in the yeah has a gun and they'll use it. Yeah. So it seems. Hungry, huh? He has to worry about chafing because he doesn't have pants. You see? That's true. Why would I dismount the leaper? Wow, so like This is exactly like the other game Where you have to just wander around in really long areas and Maybe find the thing you're looking for after you go through the whole area And we'll have to go and and uh Oh great, he's dead. Well I don't know how we're gonna make it back to uh, to, to Cleaver the last one, Jack. That, that we killed this prized animal uh, He has to worry about chafing. Oh, yeah, the city's full of collectibles search for the wizard will be important in finding some Did The collectibles actually offer me a tangible in-game gameplay benefit uh, besides cheats or are they kind of just like there because if they're just kind of like there I'm not gonna even bother with them at all. Oh, that looks interesting the last one. I'm Sure, we won't be able to touch that until later Yeah, more stuff this time around That did that doesn't answer my question though One more bon appetit Smell a rat, blokes. Maybe me food stores will last a little longer now. If Tamos ever gives you a pass to leave the city, I'll let you take one of me rides for a spin. See you around, newbies. Check out these funny dudes, huh? <laughs> nice threads. I didn't know rubber was back in. What are you working on, monk boy? It is none of your concern, animal. Look, coloring book. We've had a hard week. Don't push it. The arena shows all, Dark One. Hate consumes your eyes. Great. Thanks for the tip. It will destroy you, just as these precursors destroyed themselves. It doesn't look like any precursor crap we've seen. These artifacts are an abomination. One fell on the Great Volcano. We sent an expedition to the mountain, but my monks never returned. Ill tidings sing in the wind. I fear the remaking of the world is at hand. I think you've been out in the sun a little too long. Let's go, Jack. You must leave this place. Heroes think they can save the world when they themselves are lost. You could not possibly understand the dark forces at work here. Don't talk to me about dark powers. I want to know what this is. Stand back. Oh, I'm getting more dark powers. What? Oh, Jesus. The fuck? These puzzles are not good. Or these games are not good game design. Also, this is freaky as hell. This is way too many. Chat, this isn't fun. Like the ones from it is picking up a very powerful signal. 
I don't think we're gonna like what this thing is yapping to. Nice. Even you cannot save us from this hero. Hey, I'm the real hero here. You can call me Orange Lightning. Da -da -ding! You may carry the color of our creator's animal, but we have plans to save ourselves. Stay out of our business. You and Orange Lightning are not welcome here. Evil DDR, all right then. So true, DDR Cthulhu Edition might as well be. I get the gameplay, but you mean the setting? Uh, I'm not sure what the settings premise is yet. We'll, we'll have to discover that together. Wow, the minigames are still padded as hell. Goal 75? Yeah. Yeah, very padded. Reminds me of the fishing game from the first one. I kind of like that stupid little fishy, fishing game. At least you got something out of it. Instead, the game is like, hey, we're going to lock your fucking progression behind this. Like, you didn't have to do the fishing minigame if you didn't want to. I had to drag to the city council believe for all the shit that happened and threw him out to the wasteland. Esther and the pecker got stuck with him, but they found the people that run the city called Spargus. This is your that were thrown out of the wasteland. Sounds like an excellent time to give yourself a funny new name to. What, what, what? What are you talking about? You know what game had great fishing? Ocarina of Time. I never got to play Ocarina of Time. The fishing game was a lot more fun, which there was more well, of them. Yeah. If it isn't the newbies. Keep yapping, Jelly Boy. We'll see who. Bite your bum, rat face, or I'll pound you. Ah, oh, great stink of the precursors. I got two words for you: toothbrush. Nice rides. You like what you see? We use these babies to make runs into the deep desert to retrieve artifacts. Tough wheels for tough work. You said we could use one. I did, didn't I? But not one of those. Those are for the big boys. You can use that one. Ha! What a run! Seems to fit you. Get in, Dax. I'll drive. Care to wager a little something on the race, then? If you win, I'll let you keep that little vehicle for as long as you live. And if I win, I don't have anything. I'd say that yappy rodent of yours is a bit bony, but skinned and butted, he'd make a nice treat. My vehicle against him. Forget it, buddy. Jack would never done. What? Don't worry. If there's one thing I can do, it's race. Racing. Oh no. It feels like a worse RC car from Sly 3. Oh, at least there's brakes. That's good. Oh, look at that. That's fucking cool looking. Yeah, the vehicles all physics and control differently depending on their stats. Okay. All right. Ooh, and there's a jump. That's good. Skid turn. Ding! Oh. Well, that didn't do that very well. Love the physics on the aerial bouncing around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is cool. Yeah, this feels way better. It's not perfect yet. Maybe they'll introduce a, new, a couple more controls. But overall, I like it. Feels good. Push to the side and press. Nice. I can't put myself in place, sad. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh no. Oh. That's bad. Oh jeez. Okay. I'm going to have to actually learn how to pilot this thing. 
seems much better compared to Jack 2's driving. Yeah, it does. Though, not by much. Still feels kind of clunky. Oh, jeez. It does random shit like that, where it just, like, completely turns you in the wrong direction. So I don't know how I feel about that. Also, you go pretty slow. Sand trap. Jump over the sand trap. That's good. That's fun. Whee! Oh, I missed my jump. I like that little star up there. That's cool looking. I like that they have their own numbering system as well. That's uh, that's also very good. Like we're in or uh, uh, rooted. Oh no. Oh no. Doesn't seem like doing the jumps helps you with your momentum very much. Is there a storm brewing outside? There is. And it doesn't happen in the cave. That's good. That's a good detail. And I really gotta pick up some of those boosts or I'm gonna just completely eat shit. Unlocked through the cheat menu kind of suck. Let's see, this is better than the speed bike here things in Kotor 1 and 2. I never got to play those games. Some vehicles slip and slide more on sand, you'll get once they handle better later. Okay, I believe you. Uh, this is this is designed pretty well, the difficulty isn't too bad. And if you can, like, manage to, um, get some of these power-ups, it feels like you can catch up pretty simply, which is nice. That guy's still really fucking far ahead. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up to him. He's gonna win. Goodbye, Daxter. Rip. Rip to Daxter. You're gonna rely on the boost things a lot in the early races. Makes sense. Don't worry, you're using his cannon so you can just redo if you lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is in cannon, yep. Yeah. Uh, what a good start to this race. The pre precursor language is a whole el le uh, legible font. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like those sort of one-to-one -one things. I like they went through the after effort including the wobbly antenna actual physics. Yeah, that is pretty nice. Really learned how to take the PS2 and get your bang for your buck on it. Move over. Remember you have a boost? Yeah, I know, I'm using them. Also no rubber banding, yeah. No Daxter Stu cutscene? Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. I would have liked some gritty, um, Dead Space style, uh, failure cutscenes. Those would have been good. Something was going on back there. Some physics things. Naughty Dog has always been good at pushing a console to its limits. It seems that way. Get the fuck out of my way, jackass! Oh no. It's a billion car pileup. Ugh. Deja vu. Never been to this place before. Hard 
street and I know it's my time to go. Don't I know my destiny. I am on the street and I know it's my time to be me. I hear and he actually made use of some parts of the PS2 that weren't supposed to be used normally. I'm not sure which parts though. I wouldn't be able to tell either. If you went into a bunch of technical jargon, I'd just be like, what? 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 In We've got a day and night cycle in this game now. That's pretty neat. Oh, I've got metal head eyes on the side of the screen there. That's interesting. Metal head eyes and precursor orbs. I wonder what those will be used for, chat. It was in Jack 2 as well. Uh, I didn't notice. All the Jack games have a day and night cycle, Miles. Oh, do they now? Do they now? I can't believe Jack, the video game series, has a better, uh, or has says has a, a wider range of content than uh, than Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 doesn't have a day and night cycle. Me, I win. Enjoy for now, skimmer. I said you could keep the vehicle for as long as you live. Well, we'll see how long that is, mates. Ah. Ah. Oh, look, side quests that we're not going to do. Someone currently playing Baldur's Gate 3, you feel attacked? As you should. My advisor here says you have vehicle skills. I can own my own. This one will be of use to us, Demos. I think you should keep him for now. Can it, Pecker? There are a number of artifacts to be found in the wasteland. Fresh storms churn the sand and reveal items that have been buried for centuries. Take the vehicle and find as many items as you can before the storm. And that come voice again. really does not fit that much. One more thing. If you get caught in the storms, they will tear the flesh from your very bones. Oh, great. Thanks for the pep talk. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. I don't know the rest of the lyrics, but I can't wait to get on the road again. Oh, no. We got an artifact. Oh. Cool. Blow, 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 blow. Dumbass was uh, voiced by Not Bumper artifact, Robin Robinson. Oh no, the wrong way. I forgot that they literally just made a Mad Max open world into a game as a finally a, a 3D platformer as, as the final uh, thing for a platformer trilogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it sure is something. They're like, we just really want to make a vehicle game. Can we please just do it? Finally, they were like, fine. So it's a lot of opium. Is that what uh, opium does to you? Does to a body? Whoa, that was like a whole on precursor orb there. I get out of my way.
Oh no. Oh my god, these things are so obnoxious. I can't wait till I'm able to like shoot them and shit. Jeez, they, they, they're just getting in my Watch way. Out. There's also jackaxe after this. Uh, we are taking our play through the jack game strictly to the uh, the quote unquote platformer titles. Another trinket for Davis. Whoopee. This is a comical amount of enemy vehicles in our way. Like, almost as bad as the pedestrian vehicles in Jack 2. Let's fire back. Just watch the cutscenes for Jack X IMO. Let's see, if it's anything like Sonic All-Star Racers, or like whatever the Sonic well, like game was where you were like on snowboards but racing, maybe we'll give it a shot, because I kind of like that one. Jack X is really good. Yeah, but you thought that Jack 2 was good, Acrox, so I don't know if I can trust your judgment on that. Sonic Riders, you mean? Yeah, Sonic Riders. It was not a good game, I but I enjoyed city, it. My concern was for the artifacts, and we will use them well. That armor you found, it is very rare indeed. Pecker here says it's the very armor Mar once wore in his battles for this planet long ago. Keep it for yourself. Trust me, you'll need it. Ability? Ability? Where, how do I know, how do I know what I get from that? Oh, health upgrade, okay. Let me in. Every time you click armor pieces, you get more health? Okay. What's up, Numpty? You are still here? Yeah, we thought we'd hang out, catch some rays. This isn't a game. I am Seam. We monks are sworn to discover and protect the secrets of the Precursors. These leaper mounts allow us to travel where you cannot. Man, those babies sure stuffed their faces. We saw one go below the Kangarats not too long ago. Stupid rats. They just sat ah! oh, ah, ah, oh. You will never last out here. That dark eco crystal from the satellite. I want it before it falls into the wrong hands. I'll wager a light crystal against it if you race my monks on their leapers. See Other race? Barouche, barouche. Just show us where the starting line is. On your monk? Get set? Ride! Wow, they really did just kind of like make a vehicle in. game, huh? Oh. What? Why did that hurt me? Wow, they just like killed a civilian in their race. These monks suck. Ooh. Move aside, dumb head. I missed. I lose. The raptors feel On faster than the car? I think Get they set. are. Ride! Move aside, dumb head. Oh, 
Oh, this feels weird. Oh, am I still in the lead? Oh, I really hope I don't have to redo this. Who decided the, the, the fucking, uh, trap? Side of the track for this. Cheating monks. On your monk, get set, ride! Take that, pink face! Ugh. Ugh. This is painful. Oh, they have the uh, they have little white rings to tell you where you're going next. Okay. That's less painful. hell on your monk get set the lizard can also attack it can't attack the other monks though also this one cannot attack it does not let me attack uh i lost that last one because i tried to like do the second jump and it just didn't let me I'm imagining that there's some sort of like tight window to it instead of being available throughout the entire jump. What the hell game? Oh. No. Fucking way. Take that, pink face. I think these ones have the rubber banding on them. At least it feels like it. Oh man, I want to read chat, but like I gotta like hyper focus on this because if I mess up even a little bit, the game's jank will uh, throw me off track. To be fair though, it feels a lot better than last game. It's still got the jank to it, but like it feels like less jank. Should be called Jank and Daxter. Light and dark when combined form great energies. Be careful with them. And when you die, do be kind enough to give them back. I don't plan on it. Why are you so obsessed with death? Because of that, the day star approaches and every day it grows brighter. This planet's final trial is coming. We see the light eco crystal. Yeah, they attack, it's just they, they didn't attack in the race mode. Okay, um, I think that's a good place to, to call it. We'll do our sign off. Uh, I hope everybody had a good time. It is interesting exploring this series. I I'm going to be playing a lot of bad games at work, uh, so it's, it might be kind of hard for me to come back to this after, after a week of playing bad games at work. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll, we'll be playing more Jack 3 next Sunday, provided that I don't just, like, die. Um, I think Halzakar streams in a little bit. Halzakar has a show later on tonight, so I look forward to that. Um, if you like my content and you haven't, feel free to give me a follow over on my channel. I have not been streaming over there as much just because work has kept me busy and I'm trying to get done some side stuff 
that will help me grow my career, like learning Unreal Engine and um, doing some voice acting stuff, things of that nature. So I haven't been able to really uh, stream as much over there. But when I do stream, I'll, it'll be Fridays and Saturdays. Um, playing Demon's Souls right now, so that'll be a blast. Um, otherwise, I hope you all have a great week. Next week, between now and next week, I want you all to have a really nice meal. I want you all to have a really nice meal, and when you come back next week, I want to hear what that nice meal was. Because you all should treat yourselves, because you deserve it. All right, all. Have a great weekend. Have a good week. Good work week. Enjoy. And bye-bye.